Hello, what's up, guys? This is AS Learning, and in this video, I will be explaining you the code for calculator in Android Studio. How to how to execute this code in Android Studio? For this, I will be making a, an, an another video. Currently, in this video, I'm just explaining you the logic of the calculator code in Android Studio. As here, here you can see that uh, this is just an one activity code. An activity is a one screen display which a user has an interaction for example if i would have clicked on sign and, and it, it would have taken me to an another screen with a completely different display so that would have been an another activity so currently in this calculator code there is just one activity i will be giving my input here and i will be getting my uh, a result here as you can see that this element in this layout okay so let's understand what a layout is a layout is the view of this activity not the view of the activity so the wrong use of words but uh, layout is exactly how this activity is being seen to us so that is called layout here in code i have used a relative layout you can use the other layouts also like uh, you have a table layout li a linear layout constraint layout etc uh, in this code we have used a relative layout as you can see this is a relative layout okay so let's i'll be first explaining you the activity main.xml file in a uh, any code for android contains two xml file activity main.xml and contain main.xml and uh, okay so here is the activity main.xml uh, this element in activity may not XML is called an edit text this is called a text view all these are text views these are my edit text and these are my uh, uh, these are my buttons so let's you can drag and drop things like uh, image view and image button and etc things if you want to add it like in this way let's go to xml code xml code is web, is very quite similar to the html code and here you can see that this, this is a text view of calculator so this thing which you are seeing here this calculator stuff which we are seeing here the code for a calculator is here here you can see that it's android text calculator here you can also could have as as a suggestion is being given to us to make a string a resource of it you could have made a string resource of it and then you could have added that word calculator to it it would have been if we would have done that so it would have been stored in a string.xml I have explained this part in my previous video of uh, basics of Android so this is what calculator is what is an Android layout with layout height so layout width and layout height is the height and the width of that text view so here you can see that it is wrap content wrap content means the word calculator is being completely wrapped so so the word calculator is completely wrapped so that is the main idea like the height will be exactly the same as this uh, the height of the word calculator on it it is wrapping that text calculator on it if it would have been you you can also have some other uh, layout like match parent or you could have given your own values like 100 dp 100 dp or 50 dp and accordingly then the size of the text would have changed okay so here we have the alignment in relative layout all these all these things are aligned with each other like this text view is aligned with this and all these things so that is the main concept of relative layout and uh, in android uh, in text view here we have an id so as there are many text views here, here you can see that uh, so here, here you can see that calculator is a text view medium text is a text view so how to identify this text view these text views are identified with an id which is being assigned to them like uh, okay fine so this text view is and en enter input one then uh, it has an id of text view two here, here you can see uh, calculator has an id of just simply text view then i will see another text like 
a result it has an id of text view 3 all the all the ids are different because that is an identification of the text view it is just the same like you are being identified by a roll number in school okay so edit text is uh, the part where you will be giving the input to that to the code so this is my here we have at least three edit text so here we must have three edit text this is the first one here you can see that the id given to it it is 80 num and uh, its layout is below the text view 2 okay so what is my text view 2 text view 2 is uh, enter input 1 so this edit text is uh, this one because it is below enter input 1 i hope you are getting how this xml is working and how it will work now let's uh, see anything of a button uh, here as i've explained wrap content and match parent the same logic gets applied in edit text also you, you can manipulate the size by even manually inputting the values like 100 dp 50 dp or, or whatever you want so here is an uh, here is the code for button it's for sign actually sorry the android id for it is btn sign and uh, here you can see uh, that it is also wrap content it is below tv result margin top is given the alignment is given so this is my main activity.xml this is the main activity.xml the xml file for the calculator code i hope you get this if you have any doubts for it please comment down i will be there to solve those problems uh, now next let's shift to the main activity.java where the actual logic of a calculator is being implemented so here you can see that uh, all these things are being imported as you as uh, you will see in the other video which i will be making on how to execute this code here, here you can see that we don't need to worry about this imp we don't need to learn at what file we need to import as we go on coding suggestions are given to us that automatically imports are made so it's not that tough uh, here, here you can see that the uh, buttons are declared here then we have the three edit text which we have okay so we have here our on create method on create method will take the main activity dot main xml and it is basically the method through which our whenever you will open your app the first method which will be running will be our, our on create method and in our on-create method here you can see that set contained view now what is a view view is basically uh, all these layouts all these buttons whatever thing which you will see in your app the super class of all these things is view and view basically it uh, includes everything which which we see in an android app so here you can see that it is the function is set content view r dot layout dot activity dot mean so in our r stands for a resource in a resource we have the layout folder and in our layout we have activity main dot xml so that is being given input as a parameter to set content view and a view for r whenever you will be opening the app that activity screen this whenever you will be opening the app this will be shown to you i hope you are getting what i am saying and next our our init method is being called so uh, in our init method here you can see that uh, you have a method named find view by id and the parameter is r dot id dot btn sign so find view by id what exactly happening is uh, in our xml code this r dot id dot button sign like in a r as a resource in a layout we have a xml code we are searching for the id which is btn sign so in our main activity main or xml we have an button where is the button for sign okay yeah here, here you can see that the id for it is btn sign so 
so this btn sign is being imported so the xml code is getting called out then the view is getting fine so what exactly happens is find view by id gives an view object but btn sign is our button object so we need to cast here so so this is exactly the casting thing which is which is getting done here so these are the buttons and this three is for the uh, edit text okay and then we have btn sign set on click listener when you will be clicking on that sign button in xml code i'll show you that thing that is here when you will click here so this code this line of code will get executed now here you can write separate here you here you can write uh, separately a code for sign separately a code for cause tan but that would uh, lead to a very big amount of code now if you uh, so we have used an another way we have used your this and here by if we click on sign this function will directly direct a uh, direct as here the on click method after getting clicked what next the view is getting as a parameter input now here you can see that etnum dot get text to string so what is etnum dot get text to string in our main act in activity main xml this thing is that is a edit text here you can see that uh, in edit text uh, okay we want 18 num right okay you can see 18 num the edit text i hope you're getting what i this is my number one which we, i will be in which i will be giving as input input so this will be my number two and this will be my result yeah it should be num one okay so this num one get text it's getting the text of it and to string is basically converting that string into a string object so after we get an id view dot view dot get id so the id is being extracted from a view and later on according to the button which was being clicked our typical case will get run so if i click on a sign button what will be the stuff which will be happening first code which will be running will be this later it will shift to this and then by getting on the id it will run this case okay so what sign so what exactly happens there is uh, here for implementing sign we have a math library and in a math library we have an inbuilt function for sign so sign is having an in, uh, as a uh, sign will take an input which we will be giving in our calculator code uh, which will be here right in this enter input one so this is a et num et num and this et num which we are giving here the string object et num this num one is being given as a parameter here now what exactly pass double does is the string object is being converted into a double type because math sign function needs a double parameter so after this our answer is calculated for it gets us the sign value of that number and after that by using the value of function the sign is being converted back into a string object and by giving it as a parameter to set text it is on a et result that is uh, uh, this part so a sign value which is being calculated there will get displayed there the same it is done for cos the same for tan now we will come to subtraction now what happens in subtraction for subtraction we will be needing two inputs okay let's take addition for addition we will be needing two inputs right we have a num1 now we need a num2 so this num1 is here here you can see 
double dot pass double num one, and we have a num two here. Et num two is indicating a edit text num two. I hope you getting me this edit text num two. Now this edit text num two is the text is being taken out converted into a string object being added and later on here you can see that it is giving me a string object two string gives me a string object and later the pass double converts it into a double the complete output is a double and later on it is converted back into a string and then it is being displayed on a et result so in this way i hope you're getting it when i pressed on the sign button what happened it went from year to year it took the input which i gave which was there in our edit text which i gave the value and then my value of sign was calculated here and it was giving me a result i hope you understand this code if you have any doubt please let me know and your suggestions are welcome do like comment on this video and share and subscribe my channel es learning stay tuned for more videos i hope you have a good day thank you and have a nice day